Well, it is the end of quarters. I'm joined right now by Prawley from H2K, who is a coach that has somehow lucked his way into the semifinals. I thought it was crazy when you got to quarterfinals. Your team is just carrying the crap out of you. So same circumstances last time, Travis. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> you touching me. I, I This never happens. <sighs> Only Peter's allowed to touch me this way. Oh, well, we're breaking that rule right now. Dear God. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, what happened there. You guys just 3 0 it. It was so easy. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. My team's always had ridiculous early game. Mm -hmm. So we've worked on that a bit, and it's always been hard to translate that to stage. Mm -hmm. So this was more like the HGK UT and scrims. So it wasn't really surprising. I guess it was like it. Yeah, I've said it before. It's like I've expected them to play like this. It's just taken them a long time. Yeah. Um, but I didn't think it'd be as easy, like pick and ban wise. Yeah. I, they didn't ban Jace. Yeah, they didn't ban Jace. Well, they kept playing the same stuff. Yeah. And it wasn't really... I thought they would cheat off of, like, the previous quarterfinals that were played. Yeah. Like, I figured, like, oh, my God, they're watching these guys, so this is what we have to pick and ban for is, like, basically the Samsung Galaxy and SKT and stuff like that. But they really kept playing, like, their style, I guess. But then when it didn't work, they kept doing it. So, I don't know. I was kind of confused because I was, like, waiting for something surprising to happen. Right. Because they are like a really weird team. I mean, I spent a lot of time watching their games, and a lot of the time is like, I can't figure out why the hell they're doing this right now. Other than like, they're saying go kill this guy, right. and then everyone you know fist bumps and they go do it. So I don't know. I was I guess over prepared for this a bit, so it wasn't like it wasn't surprising. I wouldn't say it was easy because we still didn't get to play like our late game the way we need to. Um, so I definitely wouldn't say it was easy, but you know they made the game. You know, their it's style. Played, played into your plans, I guess. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Now, you guys, I mean, again, the only team left standing besides three Koreans. Uh, I think so many people have already started congratulating Samsung on their <laughs> finals uh, Did you? game match. Is no, that, I have not. No. Okay. No, I think Monty tweeted it right after the, the groups or brackets were drawn. He said something like, congratulations, Samsung. Either way, uh, for you, how challenging and daunting does Samsung look after seeing what they did to Cloud9 earlier this week, which possibly illegal in certain countries? Well, uh, I don't know. Cloud9, uh, I thought, always had kind of a weak early game. Yeah. I mean, I think like Jensen was like kind of spotty. Um, I think they're like smart as a team. Like their bot lane moves to the right places and stuff. But and that would kind of make up for like their early game deficits that would happen uh, against us. So. I wasn't too surprised um, because, you know, the smarter player you're against, if you want to do something with a moving bot, like your bot lane moving around on the map, which uh, Cloud9 likes to do a lot, uh, it can be predicted by a smarter team. So it'll work against a lot of people, but if you kind of like see it coming, then it loses its effectiveness. So I think that's why the series was so uh, one-sided. Because like they lost the early game and then like their biggest advantage was like their bot lane, like being able to push in like Rome or something. But uh, so they didn't really get that. So I think Samsung actually got to hide a lot of stuff. They didn't really show too much. Um, so I'm not, I'm more prepared for Samsung than ANX okay. before the games because uh, going into Albus Knox, I was ready like, okay, game one, we might lose just straight off a pick ban because we don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, so we had like kind of a soft pick ban drawn out and we were like, all right, this is, these are the moving parts we're gonna change in pick ban depending on game one and game two. And uh, it ended up not changing that at all. But Samsung Galaxy, I feel like, are really easy to read in terms of pick ban. And that normally gives like my players a lot of confidence when they know like I'm really happy with the pick ban in the meta, they'll be happy with it. Right. So I think Samsung Galaxy, uh, maybe they're hiding some stuff, but I can kind of guess what that is. So it's more going to be if we can fix our like, mid-late game like, efficiency yeah. against them. Because I think our early game is still stronger than them. I think it's just if mid late game they're able to, you know, do the Kore hey I'm Korean and really smart at league, and like outplay us late game. Um, if they can't do that, I think we can actually take the series pretty good. Nice. I like that quote by the way. You keep giving all these quotes. If they can't do that Korean hey I'm really smart at League of Legends, then we can take them. That's great. Uh, now let's let's discuss uh, a startling conclusion I came to as I was watching your team win. You know, for years I watched. You on complexity just lose and lose and lose and lose, and then there was like a win every now and then, but mostly more losing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know relegation, all this stuff. 
you now are one match away from the world finals. I mean, I it is perplexing to me and terrifying. Oh, man. Uh, that I just am curious, you know, for you, how does that feel? Ha ha, Travis, I'm succeeding and you're angry. Ha ha ha. I'm not angry, just perplexed. <laughs> Whatever, you're just saying that sounds sophisticated. You really are mad at this. Um, because you want to be able to push me around like a jerk because everyone knows you're a jerk wow. and now you can't because you gotta be like oh congratulations yeah. you have to say congratulations to me does that hurt mm, i haven't done that yet do you congratulate the players okay but you know who you're really talking to uh, okay here's a good question for you uh what is what has more representation at north america uh, for north america at worlds or what is better representing north america you or core jj's mouse pad <laughs> you're just so funny all right. I stole that from Fion, actually. He, he's, he couldn't be here for this event. Shout out to Fion. I, I stole that, yeah. I saw that. But it's obviously me. Okay. Um, I mean, I took all the skills I learned in NA on complexity, dragging the game out to 80 minutes, and I brought that to EU. Mm. So now when we get to late game, we just never end the game because it's the complexity style. Sure. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get all these guys to be basically American. Like, they're getting all the food, like, all the fast food every single day and all the candy from NA because it's way better than Europe, except for chocolate. Um, so they're basically now NA residents, yeah. essentially. So if they die of heart disease during the Samsung game, we'll oh, have yeah. you to blame. Then that's, that's just expecting. You know, it's probably the food's fault, and then we'll probably try to sue whatever we ate mm. for, you know, killing our players. Okay, good. Yeah. And on that note, anything you would like to say to any of the fans of H2K? Um, yeah, I'm actually, I mean, were you surprised when NA was cheering for me? Because I was surprised. I didn't hear that, actually. Oh. I, there was, like, a boo that was very similar to that first day. That's what I, when Samsung walked out on stage. Anyways, but no, because, I mean, I've made fun of NA in the past. Yeah. So I was expecting NA to be, like, traitor, down I mean, with. they were cheering for H2K, right? Yeah, but they, I thought they would yell at me and cheer for H2K. Mm. And be like, I hate you for leaving NA. Yay, H2K for being last West. So to I be it was clear, like a mix of hate. I personally believe that most of the people watching League of Legends right now came in during like season four, but definitely five and six. So I would imagine that people are cheering, not knowing who you are. They probably oh. think you're some European dude, like some French guy or something. That's the coach. That's actually really good for me if they don't know about what I did in NA. Yeah. That's really. Whew, I never. I didn't think of that, yeah. Travis. Because if they found out, they'd lose all faith in H2K. Oh, oh yeah, all respect. They, yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be terrible. Yeah. Okay, so that's the theory. They're cheering for me because they actually don't know what I did. No, before no, no. I the theory is they're not cheering for you. They're cheering for the oh, team. They don't know who you are. I like my theory better. Cause at least I get any, a little credit. Anything you want to say? Well, thank you, NA fans and EU fans. Obviously, EU fans are cool because they cheer for us. But thank you, NA fans, for cheering in Chicago. And if I could. Ask a favor next time you ever see Travis, just boo him. No, no, just boo no, Travis. No, okay. Please boo Travis. You can check out the rest of our coverage of all things worlds here at Yahoo Esports.